In this video, I'm going to teach you about face tracking in Adobe Premiere Pro and After Effects. And the good thing about this is you don't need to install any plugins to get started. First, we are going to dive into Adobe Premiere Pro, which I'm going to teach you how to track anything like text and images to follow the movement of your face using keyframes. But that's not all. I'll show you how to take your face tracking skills to a new height in Adobe After Effects which is more easier as compared to Premiere Pro. If you're ready to unlock the full potential of face tracking and take your editing games to the next level, keep watching and let's get started with the video. Diving into Premiere Pro, I already have the clip I'll be working with and the text. And the first thing you should take note of is that your playhead should be at the start of your layer because you need to start tracking at the beginning to the end. Then under the effect controls, I'm going to click on top of motion and on top of motion I'm going to see this dot at the center which I'm going to use to reference my target which is the center of my face that's the nose so I'm going to use this to set the keyframes and let me show you what I mean under the effect controls again I'm going to set the first keyframe for the position then let me zoom in to about 100 so that I'll see the target clearly so I'm going to position this at the center of my nose which is around here. Then I'm going to click again inside the effect controls to activate that section of the panel, which I'm going to move ahead. So you can choose to move one frame ahead, which is just pressing the right arrow key once, or move five frames ahead, which the keyboard shortcut is shift and then the right arrow key. So the difference is maybe you want it to be more detailed, right? You need more keyframes or that. I'm moving one frame ahead, we'll do that. But for this tutorial, since that takes a lot of time, I'm going to use five frames to move ahead. So I'll press the shift key and the right arrow key to move five frames ahead. And you can see the position of my nose have moved towards the left. So I need to bring this back to the center of my nose which is around here. Under the effect controls, you will notice that another keyframe has been set to that position. So I'm going to do this over and over to the end of this. And I'm just going to skip to the end because it's going to take some time and it's going to make my computer to lag a little. So see you at the end. So I'm done tracking the text to my face. And you can see under the effect controls, you have all of the keyframes. And then let me just set this to about 50% to zoom in. One thing you will notice is, this is not where I positioned the tracking, this is the text, it was above my head. And the good thing is, under this vector motion, we still have something called the position, which we can now reposition the text above my head, let's say around here, and it won't affect the keyframes below. So that's the advantage of using these other, key, these other motions to track and not this one above. And now when I play this, you see how the text will follow the move, move, motion of my head. In After Effects, I'm going to show you how you can track your face. And in After Effects, it's much easier as compared to Premiere Pro because it has an inbuilt feature which is called the tracker. So if you can't find this tracker uh, panel right here, you can go under the window and you're going to find all of these things that you need, like for example, the tracker. So with that, I'm going to select the layer, that's the video clip, click on tracker, then track motion, and it's going to open up in another layer. By default, everything will be set to this layer right here. So what you need to do is to, let me scroll down. The first thing you need to do is to set your target area as we did in Premiere Pro, and this is it right here, the tracker point. So I'm going to bring this, let me just increase this a little so we can, it's much vis visible. Then I'm going to move this upward towards my nose and I think this is the center right there. So this is where this uh, tracker takes its samples from, this outer box. And this one here is where it sets its target. That's a pinpoint or so. You can call it in, you can call it however you want just for you to understand. You can now click on analyze forward. So you can also analyze backward or uh, analyze one frame backward and one frame forward. But for this, I'm going to click Analyze Forward. But before that, remember to always set your playhead. Or your, remember to always set this your playhead at the start of your layer, so that it won't interrupt the tracking. So we have a perfect tracking. So I'm going to click on this, and After Effect is going to do its thing and track this forward. So what we need to do now is to add a null layer and apply that if that tracking onto it. But first, if I click on this there and double tap the U key, you're going to see all of the keyframes that has been added to this layer. So I'm going to right click here, go to new, then null layer, no null object. Sorry. So for the null object, I'm just going to like 
reposition it at the center of the screen this is just to mimic the position of the tracking then i'm going to go under the tracking layer again which you can see it's above here we have the layer and then we have footage and stuff like that so when you select this you can click on this layer the name of your clip then we can click on edit target and for the target it always selects the null layer because that's the only layer that's here apart from the clip which we've tracked and i'm going to hit on ok then apply apply dimensions just allow it at x and y but if you just want the y or the x directions to be or the x dimensions to be tracked you can select that and then click on ok and that has been applied so right now we have a null layer and then with the same keyframe so if i double click on this you have all of the keyframes on the null layer what we need to do now is to add in the object that we want to follow the face so for this i just have an emoji right here which is the emoji of a nose so i'm going to scale this up and reposition it where i want and that will be on top of my own nose around let's say here I think that's okay. So what we need to do is we are going to pick pip this onto the null layer. This will have the same motion as that of the null layer. It will be copied onto this object right here. And now here is the final result. You can see the emoji is really following my face as I want it. The reason why I had to add the tracking keyframes on top of a null object before I set the emoji to it is because now if I click on this emoji right here. I can easily reposition it again without obstructing the keyframes. So this is the advantage of it. And I can also press arrow that's a rotation. I can change the and I can change the rotation of that object. Let me know what you'll be doing with these new skills you've acquired down in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video to support the channel grow. Thanks for watching and until the next one. Keep editing.